And the weather is going to be great for it as well. We're talking about dry conditions, uh, temps during the day back into double digits, and we may hold on to sort of like 10, 11 degrees right around trick-or-treat time, and I'll show you that in just a second. But we're going to take a look at the chance of rain over the next seven days. And it's not tomorrow and Thursday, but it does return a higher chance for Friday and Saturday. But as we were just talking about by Sunday, that's when everything starts to go down. Again, just ignore the uh, arrowhead on my circle. All right, we're talking about seven degrees right now. It's six in Barry. And what you see now is what you're going to get right through the night. So temps aren't budging. We are going to sit steady at around 7 degrees all night long. But hello, Wednesday. Yeah, we see you. 16 degrees. Warmest day of uh, the next week and a half or so. And tomorrow afternoon is also going to be the sunniest afternoon we've had in about a week. Now, I'm going to show you uh, this, though. We're looking closely at next week. As temperatures cool into the first week of November, this is going to be very significant because of how warm the lake temperatures are. We're running about three to four degrees above average in terms of that water temperature as that cold air gets here first week of November, especially overnight lows will be at around zero to two degrees. We're talking about potentially some significant snow squalls starting again in about a week, week and a half, especially off into the snow belts. All right, this evening, still gusty, still cloudy tomorrow morning, especially through the west end. We'll start to clear things out from east to west throughout the day. So that means Oshawa, you get the sun first then Toronto, then Mississauga, then Hamilton. So everyone's going to clear again from east to west. So look at that temperature, 15 degrees. And yeah, a 16 is even possible. There's that rain as we head uh, into Friday and Saturday. And just another check on that trick trick or treat forecast uh, 13 degrees at 5 p.m. for the little ones that head out early and about 11 degrees and partly cloudy skies here as we go through the afternoon winds tomorrow also easing. They'll be gusting up to about 30 kilometers per hour in the morning. And then as that sun comes out, the wind goes down. Make sure you get outdoors.